<laughs> All right. Oh, Christian. All right, let's clap for Lindsay, everybody. As an aspiring Christian woman, designer, I'm always looking around and seeing what people are wearing. I always see jeans, shorts, flannels for when it's cold, but the one thing I always see is t-shirts. Now, can everyone look down at their shirt and then raise their hand if they're wearing some sort of t-shirt? A good portion of class. Everyone wears t-shirts. Moms, dads, grandparents, kids, adults, everyone. A t-shirt is defined as a short sleeve shirt with no collar and usually made of cotton. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a t-shirt. First I will show you the materials needed to make the five parts of the t-shirt. Second I will show you the steps to construct the t-shirt. And lastly I will show you how to finish the t-shirt and how to rock it. There are six materials needed to make a t-shirt. First you'll need a sewing machine, fabric, a pattern, sewing scissors, pins, and a sharpie. Now it's important to get fabric that is a con blend with spandex that stretches because if you don't, you won't be able to put the t-shirt over your head. And I did this on my first t-shirt, I had 100% con. And I was like, hey dad, let's put this t-shirt on. And my arms were stuck like this and I couldn't stretch it over. So it's very important to use a con blend with spandex. Also, it's not required that you have a pattern. You can take any old t-shirt of yours, cut it at the seams, and then use that as a guide, which is what I did. First, you need to lay out your fabric and put your pattern on top. Um, then, next, you need to trace along the edge half an inch and then cut it out. So now that we've cut out the fabric, we have five pieces, a front, a back, two sleeves, and a collar. Now that we have the five pieces, I will show you how to use those five pieces and construct a t-shirt. The first step in constructing a t-shirt is taking your front, right here. So this is the pattern I used, that I'll show you guys and as an example. You take your front and your back, you're going to pin them together like this, and then sew at the shoulders right here. You're going to sew a half inch in and with a zigzag stitch. There are two different stitches you can use when making a t-shirt. It's a zigzag and a straight stitch. I almost always use a zigzag stitch because uh, it keeps the fabric together better and if you use a straight stitch it will wear out over time and your t-shirt will fall apart and you don't want that. So once you have your t-shirt together at the shoulders, you want to create the collar. To create the collar, you're going to just take a rectangle fabric like this, fold it in half, and iron it so you have a loop like this. Then you want to take your loop and sew it like this, and it will end up looking like this. <laughs> so now that we have the collar formed, we want to pin it along the edge of the neckline and sew it with a straight, no, I'm sorry, a zigzag, zigzag stitch about a quarter inch in. Once we have the collar on, we want to take the sides of the t-shirt and sew them together to create the whole shirt. You want to sew um, with right sides together and sew a half inch in using a zigzag stitch. Like I said, zigzag stitch is important because your t-shirt won't rip apart over time and that's just the stitch I prefer to use. Once you have your sides together, you want to finish the shirt. Um, now that we have the sides together, we want to pin the sleeves onto the shirt and sew it on so that you have sleeves for your short sleeve t-shirt. You want to pin the sleeve to the edge, sew a quarter inch in, and sew with a straight edge. Now, you don't want to use a zigzag, zigzag stitch here because it's too thick for the seam of the shoulder, or I'm sorry, of the sleeve, so you want to just use a straight stitch. Now that I've shown you the, how to construct the five parts together to make a t-shirt, I'll show you how to finish it and how to rock it. To finish the shirt, you want <laughs> to finish the shirt, you want to sew the bottom an inch in with a straight stitch. Once you have the bottom sewn, because you want to have that sewn so it doesn't have a rough finish, once you have the bottom sewn, you want to hem the sleeves so that it's not like all rugged from how you cut the material. And then once that's sewn, you have a completed t-shirt. <laughs>
now that I've shown you how to create the five pieces for the t-shirt and how to construct it, I will show you how to customize it and make it unique. The two favorite techniques I love to do is iron-ons or tie-dye. Um, you can use iron-ons for any kind of digital image on your computer to make your t-shirt unique. You can use it like a picture or words, anything you want, or you can tie-dye it, which is one of my most favorite things to do. It is messy, but well worth it. So now that I've shown you the five steps it takes to, or the five parts of a t-shirt, how to create and construct the t-shirt using those five parts and how to customize it, you too can now create your own t-shirt.